Hello, welcome to the Thursday, September 16th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Brad today dropped one of his usual diaries, including packet captures and everything you need to reconstruct and uh, follow the lessons that Brad is uh, teaching you here. And in this case, Brad is illustrating the latest Hankitor campaign. Now, Hankitor is essentially a malware delivery mechanism. In the past, it often has used Google Cloud features in order to deliver its malware, like for example, docs.google.com or feedproxy.google.com. Of course, pretty much no cloud service is immune from being abused uh, to deliver malicious content. It looks like Hankitor now set its sights at the uh, Microsoft OneDrive service in order to spread its malicious Word documents. With that, it also changed strategies a little bit. In the past, uh, the document was usually uh, served using a Base64 encoded uh, script. But in this uh, most uh, recent uh, Hankitor version, it essentially just points uh, to uh, Microsoft one drive URL. Of course, malware campaigns always try to mix up things a little bit as detection is catching up. Also, as detection of these cloud providers may make the dwell time that the malware achieves inside these clouds a little bit too short to be fully effective. So that's when they may, for example, switch to a different cloud in order to gain the full effect of the samples they are preparing. So remember yesterday when I talked about Microsoft's patch Tuesday and I pointed out that Microsoft did patch critical vulnerabilities in the open management infrastructure or OMI and I wasn't really sure how widely this particular product was used. It's an open product that Microsoft also published on GitHub. Well, it turns out that this is actually a huge problem if you are running a Linux virtual machine on Microsoft's Azure cloud service. As many cloud services, if you are running a virtual machine, there are certain automation tasks that uh, you can perform on the virtual machine using the cloud services APIs. And for Azure, this is Azure Automation, Automation Update, and a number of other uh, services and uh, these services are taking advantage of this vulnerable OMI component. The vulnerability was originally found by researchers from wiz.com. Remember, they also brought us that big database vulnerability in Azure a couple of weeks ago. And what this amounts to is that many Linux virtual machines on Azure are extremely vulnerable and easily taken over and commands may be executed using root privileges. So if you're using a Linux in Azure and apparently more than half of the virtual machines on Azure are using a Linux, then uh, you may have already the vulnerable components installed. But if you're activating one of these services, then uh, the OMI component is being activated as root. Once activated, these uh, components uh, listen for HTTPS requests on a couple different ports, uh, 5986, 5985, and 1270. Now, yes, you do need authentication in order to execute uh, commands on the virtual machine, but turns out if you just remove the authorization header and send a request without the header at all, the command will just work. So a very trivial authentication bypass. Like I said, Microsoft did deliver a patch yesterday. If you are running a virtual machine using Linux on Azure, then please update now. What makes things a little bit worse is that even after the patch was released, if you are starting a new Linux virtual machine in Azure, you will still get the vulnerable component. So apparently these base images they're deploying have not been updated yet. This may be better um, 
as you are listening to this, but uh, Wiz.com uh, did update its blog post stating that as of Wednesday, newly deployed machines are still vulnerable. Wiz refers to this vulnerability as oh my god or I guess oh my god uh, pronounced and also has some steps for you how you mitigate this vulnerability. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and uh, talk to you again tomorrow.